مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students are great then Mr. Raymond is back for a new vocabulary lesson Still in the same module Number 7 H2O You'll need your student's book page 91 And keep in mind, try to show your belonging and love to Qatar by protecting the green lands and by saving water. Remember, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ And now for our objectives for today. We aim to learn which prepositions should be used after some verbs. We want to complete the table with 12 correct verb forms from the list. And we want to practice and match between the verbs and appropriate prepositions. Let's start with this game to introduce the notion. Ready? It's a sort of quiz. So, what shall we say? Clear up, clear without or clear for? Yes, clear up. Break, for, out or away. You know it? Break out. To the next. Shall we say without trace or for trace? Or out trace? Without trace. For certain, in certain, or up. Uh, for certain, for sure. And the last is to luck. Without luck. For or look up. So, look up. Good job and good starting. As we finish it with this game, let's watch this video and learn more about verbs and prepositions. Okay, welcome to today's lesson. We're going to do verbs and prepositions today. Now, this is not the same as phrasal verbs. Um, why? It's because phrasal verbs, they change their meaning when you add the preposition. These words don't really change their meaning. You know, borrow and borrow from, they're the same. But when you add the from, it tells you who you borrowed the money from. You could just say, I borrowed some money. Or, I borrowed some money from my friend. Um, so, you can see how it doesn't change the meaning. In phrasal verbs, the meaning changes. And also, you can put the object in between the verb and the preposition. You can't do that with any of these. Um, okay. So, we're going to... The best way to learn verbs and prepositions... Prepositions are difficult in English. You just have to learn the verbs with the prepositions, like they're one word. And the best way to do that is by using them. So, I'm going to ask you some questions. I'd like you to reply. Please speak to your monitor. Practice uh, saying the sentences. It's very useful. Um, and answer my questions. So, question number one. Who does your house belong to? Or your flat, where you are living now? Who does it belong to? Does it belong to your parents? Does it belong to yourself? Does it belong to your landlord? Okay, there's another good word that you might need, landlord. Who does it belong to? Your landlord is, of course, if you rent a flat, then it belongs to your landlord. Okay, question number two. Have you ever been falsely accused of doing something? Have you ever been falsely accused of doing something? Maybe you've been falsely accused of stealing, or, you know, perhaps in a shop somebody said somebody wanted to talk to you and you hadn't stolen anything. 
Anyway, you answer that question. Have you ever been falsely accused of doing something? Okay, the next one. Spend money too. Okay, question number five. Very important this because the common mistake with my students is happen with. Because they say it like that in their language. And so they try to use happen with me. What happened with you? What happened with me? That's not correct. What happened to you? And so um, I'd like to ask you if you have ever been robbed. Um, and I think many people have. And if you have, when did it happen to you? When did it happen to you? Okay? When did it happen to you? Or perhaps if you've never been robbed, um, think about some other event. Have you... Um, <laughs> What other events could happen to you okay so try to repeat it when you say so it happened to me 10 years ago and then tell tell us a bit in many films and books um, and I believe it's acceptable in American English uh, I have to say it's very rare that you hear speak with and talk with in this town in this town everybody says to and I believe that that's the correct British English preposition um, so uh, how often do you speak to your parents? How often do you speak to your parents? How often do you talk to them? In continuous tenses. Okay, so two questions here. What do you think of your Prime Minister or President? What do you think of him? Is he a good man? Is he, are his policies effective? What do you think of your leader, your President, your Prime Minister? Um, and concerning plans... What are you thinking about doing tonight? What do you think about doing tonight? Or what are you thinking about doing tonight? Um, are you thinking about having a party? If you're not, just make it negative and say, I'm not thinking about it. Okay, um, next one. Don't ever say, depend from, like my students do. It's always wrong. So I'm going to put it here with a big cross. Um, so, who do you depend on? Um, so, how many rooms is your flat or your house divided into? How many rooms is it separated into? Okay. Trait on. So, do you find it difficult to focus on studying English? Do you find it difficult to focus on studying English? So, this is a list of many verbs with the appropriate prepositions that you should use. And before using your student's book, let's try to gain some additional words. Like, we say depend on or rely on. We can depend on her to deliver a quality product. To cooperate with, to recover from, means to regain health after being sick you can recover your data but not recover from we deal with we manage we treat we know how to do with a particular situation and we have the last word is to escape from now open your students book page 91 and someone please to read the first instruction A. Find the following verbs in the text. In the reading activity, which prepositions are they followed by? So please go back to your text and try to find these words and to point to the prepositions that are linked to I'm waiting yes rely on excellent dies from or die from very good to suffer from a good job and many of us have never better to link the food on our plate with to link something with great and now to the second task and the last task of this lesson of course in the book because 
we may finish with the game. Someone to read the instruction? B. Look at the verbs in the box. Which prepositions are they followed by? Complete the table. The verbs are depend, cope, benefit, deal, rescue, recover, insist, spend, escape, cooperate, communicate, congratulate. Let's do it. Pause the video and try to put each verb in the appropriate box. Means match the verb with the suitable and the best preposition to be used with. And the prepositions are with, on, and from. Are there any ready answers? Yes. To deal with. Excellent. To communicate with. And to cooperate with. And to cope with a particular situation. Let's go to the verbs link it to on. Insist on. Depend on. Congratulate on a particular occasion. And spend your money on. The last list starts with rescue from a particular problem to help someone to benefit from a huge amount of money, for example, to escape from and to run away and to recover from coronavirus, for example. Here we finish it with task B. Can you complete this sentence with the best verb form of arrive and escape and the best preposition? By the time the police arrived to the scene, the thieves had escaped from there. Great. And now let's finish our lesson. And this means that here we reach the time to play. And a World War game. Verbs and prepositions. As this. How many from, and how many on, and how many with. So, we will match between the verbs, and we will consider each correct matching correct. So, we insist on, we depend also on, we cope with, we benefit from, we recover from, and we escape from, we deal with, and we spend on. Remember, we will consider correct each correct matching because it's correct. Let's submit our answers. Do you think that these are false? No. Why? Here are the correct answers. Depend on and insist on. You did a great job. And here we are at the end of this lesson. See you soon. Safe and healthy. And remember, protect your environment. And save H2O. Assalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية
وقيم اسلاميه